Okay, well, this will be the first time I've ever actually talked in any of my videos, but I feel like more people need to know this that have diode lasers. They're cheaper than CO2, they're cheaper than fiber. You just can't do as much with them that people like to do. So I first saw this stuff on the channel Build Dead Build. He uses that with his uh, X tool, X1 I think it is, for tumblers. And it worked really great. It's a diode laser. It's more power than mine, but I wanted to give it a try. I have the Ortor Laser Master 2 Pro. Um, I basically just got into this because maybe I could make some extra money with it. Maybe I can't. Who knows? But it's fun and I enjoy it. So I got the stuff. It's expensive. Don't get me wrong. It's $54 for this can. 12 ounces. Cool thing is, it doesn't take much of a coating for anything. It wipes right off. It doesn't smell, unlike using paints and anything like that. If you're into diodes or anything else, you know it works really good on metal, even for the diode lasers. There's some speeds and everything for my test that I was doing. So it made me curious, what else can I use this stuff for? So I tried playing around with some stuff. This is what I came up with. Everybody knows the Norton Watt tile method. You know, you gotta use spray paint, let it dry. Then you're usually going 1800 millimeters per minute at 85% power. Well, here's my test that I did with the Enduramark. Seems to me like the faster you go and the lower power, you get a darker black. So, I decided to try it on a simple image, 90 degree and 0 degree. I got darker with 0. This is all with one pass at 3,000 millimeters per minute at 30%, which is super cool. That takes down your time so much for these white tiles. And it is the same. It doesn't scratch off. It is actually engraved on this tile, just like the Norton Watt tile method. This is so awesome. Here is a next to it for the Norton Watt tile, painted white, that I did a long time ago. You know, quite a bit of difference. You just can't go that fast and do it. Compare it to this, all the different blacks and grays and whites that you can get from this stuff and like I said, yeah, it's expensive, but if it's cutting down your time and wait time and wear and tear on your laser, because you're only doing 30% as opposed to anywhere from 50 to 100%, that's, that's significant. So I figured I'd make a video. I usually don't talk in my videos. Um, but I'm going to do it. So I've been shaking it up. You do have to shake it up for quite a while, you know, because it's a, it's basically a powder. There's my tiles that I'm going to do. They're just standard four inch by four inch tiles. Home Depot. Just a quick, just like the paint, just a thin coat. Just like your white tile, just do it the other way just to make sure you got everything. You're still barely using anything. Like I've been messing around with this can since I got it, and it is still full. This stuff is great. You'll see. And it dries super fast. Look. 
that just wipes off its powder. It's just powder. So it's not paint. So then when you go to clean off your tiles, you don't have to use acetone, any of that stuff, any nasty chemicals. You just get water and wash it off. It turns out great. So I'm going to just do a simple image. First, this is just a B1B Lancer. Just a simple one. I set the speeds. Three thousand at thirty percent, zero degree. Two fifty four is the DPI. Uh, I didn't want to go any any higher than that because just a simple image. Flood fill. Okay. Pretty easy. It estimates that it'll take five minutes and 18 minutes, or five minutes and 18 seconds, excuse me. We'll give it a shot and see what happens. Keep in mind, this is my first time actually making a video that I talk in. I hate the sound of my voice, but I figured this is significant enough that more people need to know about it, especially if your budget can only get you a diode laser. Um, I think this one, when I got it, it was $500 or under. It's been great for me. I love it. It's very fun. Um, I really do want a fiber laser and I would love to have a CO2, but I don't have that kind of money to spend on basically a hobby. I have a full-time job and I just enjoy doing this. So I'm going to get this done. I will film it probably real time because it's only five minutes and this is YouTube so I can make it as long as I want. Okay, here we go. Let me give it a shot and see how this one turns out. Remember, we are at 3,000 millimeters per minute, 30% power on a fill, zero degree scan angle, and one pass. Let's see how good this turns out. I have a feeling it's gonna turn out really well. All right, I'm gonna put it on a time lapse because I don't want to take up too much time because I do want to do another image, a more complicated image. All right, 
right, she's done. Watch how easy this is to clean the rag. Just regular rag and some water. Just wipes right off. So cool. Very, very cool. You can hear it, it's etched. So awesome. Right now, I put you on time lapse. Just see how long it actually took. Looks like we took five minutes and three seconds. So a little bit quicker than it thought. Super cool. Now I want to try a different image. I want to try a more complicated image. So get rid of this. I'm not gonna save that. Sorry if it's fumbly. I'm new to this whole thing. I don't know what I'm doing. Honestly, I just like people to know things that could possibly save them money. Let's try to get this a little wider here. What the heck here? I don't know what I'm doing. This is ridiculous. Right. That's going to be good enough so I can mess with the computer. Sorry if it's doing this. I don't know what's going on there. So I really like monsters and cryptids, stuff like that. I really love this wolf. We'll make it, we'll just make it four inches. Four inches by four inches, okay? Change this. We're gonna do the same thing, 3,000 at 30%. I'm going to change that to zero because I get a better burn with zero degree rather than 90. I don't need that much over scan. We'll do a 2%. Um, let's see here. DPI. I kind of want that as high as I can get it which that's probably it. I like newsprint. Um, thanks to Kenny Hack. If you haven't watched him, watch the Kenny Hack, especially for wood. That stuff is amazing. It's a very simple way to save some money and get really, really good burns on wood with less power and more speed. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna set that up. Get this focused in here. Four inches. All right, now I got to get me another tile. Okay, apparently I paused it, so I don't know where I paused it. This is the wolf image, 3,000 millimeters per minute, newsprint, zero degree burn at 30% power. I centered it up, I only did a four inch image on this so it's not going to take up the whole tile uh, that way I can put it in a frame if I want to it's a really cool image let me just show you real quick I don't know where it cut out it's very cool I've already done one once on canvas it looks very awesome now we're going to try it on a tile to make it permanent so I'm going to put you on time lapse now and see you in about 40 minutes. My time, your time should be pretty quick.
Okay, I don't know how much of that that caught because like I said, I'm new to this video editing thing. That turned out super cool. Look at that. I'll wipe it off here in a minute. I just love that. It's just so cool. Give me one second. I'll grab my rag and some water. I'll just spray the water directly on it. Look at that. Look how easy that comes off. This stuff is amazing. I love this stuff. Um, <laughs> I can't get over how well it works on these tiles. It's crazy. Look at that. Look how easy it comes off. So cool. All right. Now I'm going to go over everything just to make sure because like I said, I think I accidentally cut something off and I don't exactly know what I'm doing. Look at that. That's on there. It's not coming off. Norton White Tile? What? This took so much less time. Let's see how long it took. First of all, check this out. Hold on, my mouse froze. Here we go. That's what we just did. 3,000 millimeters per minute, 30% power, newsprint. Come on. Normally, you're at 1,800 millimeters per minute at 85%. You're just, you're using the hell out of your laser. 30% power, it'll last a lot longer. See how long it took. 41 minutes, 25 seconds. Okay. See what it said that it was going to do. It said 41 minutes and one second. Okay. So it's a little bit off. Whatever. Watch this. Let's change the power. Let's change the speed settings to what I would normally do. 1800. 85 still on newsprint okay now let's see what it says an hour and five minutes so just the time saving in itself honestly i feel like makes up the difference plus it just wipes off no acetone look i didn't have the window open the fan going, nothing. It doesn't put any fumes in the air. It dries super fast. This stuff is amazing. And I get it's expensive. But if you're doing a lot of things, I feel like this is the best thing to do. So I did pictures with it too. Not that one, not that one. The Joker, I did with that. Okay, obviously the B1, the skulls, there's your test. It's just so cool. I can't get over it.